with John Winter, he's product manager in Eastern U.S. for Sandvik Cormont. And John, in, in turning, of course, is, we all talk about fees and speeds, we know productivity is in turning. But it's it's been difficult to see a huge step changes in productivity improvements in turning historically. I understand you've got something here which is sort of a game changer, you believe, in, uh, in the turning world. Tell me about it. Correct. It is called prime turning. So prime turning is the methodology of turning multiple directions with one tool. And prime turning tools are the tools to do that. So when you look at a standard tool, this one in particular, it has an 80 degree nose on the front of it. So I can turn traditionally with it, but I also can roll into the part and I can back turn at fairly high feed rates to increase your productivity. You're seeing feed rates in steels up to 40, 47th hour rev. Then I can come back and I can traditionally turn with the front of that tool and my finishing operations. So turning both directions. You're gonna see increase in productivity, flexible manufacturing, longer lasting inserts. It's gonna save you money in machine utilization. So the B-Tool, again, it has an 80 degree nose on the front, so I can traditionally turn like a CNMG or a WNMG insert, but I can actually roll into the part in high feed and high metal removal rates, which is gonna give you your productivity gains. So the concept is capable of machining in all materials. If you look at heavy roughing and steels, you're gonna see gains of up to 200% productivity if your machine can handle it. If you look at aerospace materials, similar situation. Again, prime turning is going to only be limited by your work holding and how the machine is set up and the limitations on your machine when it comes to horsepower. The A tool is a little more flexible. This tool runs like you would have a VNMG type stick tool. Again, you're going to roll into the side of the part and you're going to do your high feed turn across. Again, you have that chip thinning, higher feed rates, higher productivity, and now I can come back anywhere I run a VNMG insert if I got some profiles and I can go back and finish turn one tool, one insert. What that does is the wear is actually on the outside edge, so all your heat is here when you're roughing. And when you come back and finish, all the heat for the finishing is on the nose of the insert. So that one edge of the insert actually has two edges versus one, like a traditional insert. A lot of traditional inserts, especially C's when you run them, you put a lot of heat into that nose, and that nose is what breaks down. When I do the heavy roughing, I'm not putting that heat into the nose. The other advantage of prime turning is these tools actually have over under coolant. This tool here has coolant strictly from the back side, keeping the substrate cool so I can run higher cutting data, keep the carbide cool, and get more tool life. The A tool here has both over and under coolant, allowing me to get chip control and keep the carbide cool at higher feeds. These tools are only limited by your creativity. This particular insert here, I've actually done pinch turning with, where I'll turn one direction with the upper turret, but I'll turn the opposite direction with the lower turret from opposite ends, and counter the harmonics and increase the productivity. When you apply these tools, you need to watch your horsepower load. As you arc in and you go into the high feed mode, the horsepower of the machine will go up dramatically. You want to basically dial in your process so that the process is running your machine at about 100% spindle load. That's going to give you the best utilization of your machine. So you will roll in, adjust your feed rate for your load on the machine, high feed across, come back, traditionally turn, finish the part. Very large productivity improvements with new core turn prime products, says John Winter of San Vicormo.